Hi, I'm Jessica. Thank you for joining Painting Lessons Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a gardenia flower in watercolor. Step one, draw the gardenia flower onto the paper. I found a composition that I liked, and I lightly sketched it onto the watercolor paper. I'm going to paint the background first. I'm going to make a large pile of light gray. I'm going to add water to my palette, and then I'm going to add black to the water. I'm going to also add a bit of purple and a small amount of blue. I'm going to use plain water and go ahead and mark this area that I want to have the background. I'm going to leave an edge white and I'm going to go around the flower with plain water. One section at a time and I'm going to fill in the gray, especially around the flower. The flower's petals are white, and this gray is going to be a nice contrast in the background. Now I'm going to let this dry completely before I proceed to painting the flower or the leaves, or else the color will bleed into the wet water. If you get pools of paint, you can dry your brush off on a towel it up. Now that the painting's dry, I'm going to be switching to a medium-sized flat brush and a very small brush as well to get the shadows inside the flower itself. I'm going to use the same colors that I use in the background just for continuity. It's very subtle. You want to start really subtle because with watercolor there's no going back. So you start with the lightest and you slowly work your way up. So now I've gotten all of the light hues for the most part around my petal bring some of these even out more at a lighter value. Each petal is going to have its lightest portion at the end and its darkest portion where it's underneath the one ahead of it. So if you stick to the rule that shadows belong in the bottom of each petal, you'll be pretty safe. Okay, now I'm going to get a little darker. I'm going to start putting shadows in the darkest areas. Switching to a smaller brush. Just kind of going in for more detail. Okay, so now everything's looking pretty pale and muted. I'm going to now do the leaves and I'm going to make them really bright and dark and rich and vibrant to contrast the really soft flower and background. So to make them vibrant, I'm going to add a lot of pigment and just a small amount of water. I'm still going to go from lightest to darkest in the green values, so I'll start with the light even though it's vibrant. Okay, now I'm going to add some darker hues and I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to pull out at a diagonal to create the veins. And they're all going to be from the dead center. This takes a bit of practice. You might want to try this on something else first. But they get smaller as you get towards the edge. Okay, so now I'm going to do the next one. Probably need a smaller brush. Same shape, but this one is smaller. So I spaced them out, and now I'm going and I'm widening them so that the veins become narrower. Add some shadow right by the flower. 
these leaves are a bit lighter, so I'm going to go back to my larger brush and put a couple more layers of greens. Now I'm going to add some more shadows to bring the flower it's from two dimensions to three dimensions. Sign. Just take the smallest brush and do the tiniest, darkest little dot. And I think that it needs a couple of drops. So I'm going to take one of my brushes, I'm going to get some of this color, and I'm just going to tap around the edges. Now I'm going to let it dry. Thank you for watching this lesson on Painting Lessons Online. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and share with your friends.